Well, hello there, friend. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today we're going to be installing a Von Duprin keyed removable mullion. Here I am opening the box. I'm going to slide that mullion body out. Open up the other side and get my parts and pieces box. This is a KR4954 keyed removable mullion. Grab that mullion body, put it up on the cart. Now we're going to unpack our parts and pieces box and see, make sure we got everything we need. Those are the instructions. Don't need those. <laughs> ah, just kidding. Get those. Follow those instructions closely. They are very important. Um, yeah, super important. Always follow the instructions. So here we're going to see what we got. We have the locking mullion assembly, the big piece. We got the top mullion fitting, the bottom mullion fitting. We got all the mounting screws and uh, the back cover plate. All the hardware to mount our cylinder. So yeah, we're looking good here. Okay, what are we gonna do first? Well, let's deal with this bottom mounting plate, the bottom mullion fitting. Should know we've already swung and adjusted our doors, so I'm just gonna transfer the location of the bottom of the doors to the concrete, which they're they're really close to being lined up with each other. Just want to transfer that line down there. I'm gonna give myself a mark right in the middle, and then give myself a square mark off, square mark down the middle, and then uh, mark my two holes for that bottom mullion fitting. holes marked. Now uh, I'm going to drill some holes in the concrete. Um, I'm going to drill with a quarter inch bit first and then I will use the 5 eighths um, bit for those uh, expansion anchors that it comes with. Sometimes you don't have a bunch of concrete here when you're trying to put these on in early, get buildings lockable. Luckily here we got plenty of concrete so we can mount the base just with the just like it's supposed to. So we're gonna open up that screw pack from the clear side. No screws left behind. And I'm gonna um, now I'm gonna put the little uh, set screw for the bottom mullion fitting in first, just easier to put on right now. I'm gonna also screw in the expansion anchors to the screws all the way up to the base while it's here in my hand. <clears throat> then I'm just going to tap it in to those holes I drilled. Um, just give it a little whack and then tighten those up. And you can, if, if it ended up just a little bit off, you're able to knock it around a little and get it right where you want it. All right, bottom mullion fitting is in. And yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty close. Okay, good. So now we're going to deal. I'm going to give myself a, a measurement for the length. Oh, knee pad fell off. Whoopsie daisy. So I'm going to get my pencil ready. And so I'm going to close one door. And I'm going to mark the bottom of the stop on the door. So the bottom of the frame stop, I'm marking on the door. And then I'm going to take my tape measure hold the door closed against the bottom base and run from the top of the base all the way up to that mark and then that's that's my overall um, length mark I'm not sure exactly what it was but it was 83 or 82 something and uh, that's gonna be important um, when we go to cut the mullion but now I'm just marking the center of the doors on the head of the frame and then giving myself a square line down the center and I'm going to take my top mullion fitting and uh, mark the two hole locations for that. So once I have those marked then I'm going to drill those, uh, I'm going to drill those, uh, oh 
put safety first, safety glasses. I'm gonna drill those two holes and those are a 5 16 18 um, by inch and a quarter flat pan. Oh no, that's no, that's for the bottom. What goes on the top? It is a 5 16 18 by inch and a quarter. I'm pulling the screw out of the package here because it's a little bit bigger tap than I normally use. And I just want to line up the screw threads with the tap threads and make sure I'm using the right tap. I am. So we're going to tap those holes. Then install those screws with the locking washers, the lock washers. It's a 5 16 external tooth lock washer, technically, according to the paperwork here in my hand. So uh, I'm also going to put the little tiny set screw. I call it an anti-rattle screw, but it's the little set screw that goes in the top piece. Much easier to put in um, on the bench and also much easier to put in if I put a little dab of tri-flow there, which I did. And uh, cause there's some Loctite on there. You know, I don't know if that defeats the Loctite or not, but man, I've, I've, I've uh, spun some of those little tiny screws out before. And when I use Loctite, never do. Make sure that top mullion fitting is square. It's square. Okay, what's next? Well, I think now we're going to get our length on our mullion. There's a sticker that says, don't cut this end. Do not cut that end. So I'm going to put my number that I measured right there. That's not what I'm going to cut, but I'm going to give myself a line there because I'm not good at math. So rather than take my overall number and deduct what I'm supposed to deduct, <laughs> I just put a mark and then I am supposed to take off uh, four and three sixteenths of an inch from whatever that number is. So I'm going to line it up, take one, two, three, four, four and three sixteenths. That's my, that's my cut. And then I'm just going to transfer that cut all the way around. If I had a bunch of these to do, I would use uh, a skill saw with a metal cutting blade. I just have uh, the one here today. So it was, uh, I always have a little angle grinder on my cart. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do there. Somehow I lost the footage of me cutting this, um, but we're just gonna say now it's cut. I'm gonna double check it. I don't know why I'm measuring it because I didn't do the math and I don't know what the number was supposed to be, but it's cut to length. And now I'm gonna pull the, um, get my mortise cylinder that I need. Um, now this is, this is actually now the first step in the listed instructions, but uh, we've done some of the other work first. Um, now we're ready, really, we're almost done here. So take that sex bolt and I'm gonna hold back the locking pin lever with the sex bolt because that makes installing the cylinder much easier. Uh, I'm gonna take the cylinder locking washer right there in my right hand that has a little lip that the locking pin lever is going to sit on. So I set that in place first and then I'm going to slip the mortise cylinder up into it and then I'm going to take the cylinder lock nut and start threading that on. And uh, yeah, I have very dainty fingers so I'm not sure why I have trouble with this all the time. but. Grab a little screwdriver and helps me thread that thing on. No, I have very fat fingers, so I uh, need a little assistance here to get that cylinder lock nut all the way tight sometimes. So I'm using the screwdriver, keep it going. And then even at the end, you can use it against the, uh, against the metal there to get a little leverage and make sure you get that tight because they do say they want you to fasten that thing down pretty tight. So yeah, it's tight there, and let's test it. Make sure it's pulling that pin back. Yep, pulling the pin back. That's what it's supposed to do. Very good, okay, so now we're gonna put the back cover plate on. So I'm gonna get the first screw started. Then I'm gonna get the second screw started. Not tighten, just started, then flip them over. Get the other two screws started. And, uh, 
then I'm only going to tighten the top two screws all the way. So I'm going to tighten the top two all the way and leave the other two loose. That's going to let me slip it onto the mullion body easier and my cylinder hole is always going to go opposite of the side that the roller latch prep screws are on. So right now what I'm doing before I drill the holes and mount it, I'm just going to test and make sure it's the right length. Before I screw it in and drill the holes, yep, it's the right length. All right, we'll take it down. Now I can drill those holes and attach the locking mullion assembly onto the mullion body. So knock it around a little, make sure it's really straight and tight. Mark those holes, drill them, and uh, yeah. That'll be good. The, uh, the the sex bolt side, those holes need to be 13 30 seconds, and then the screw hole sides need to be 11 30 seconds. And they're gonna they test those. They're gonna test you on that. And uh, yeah, you better better be right. <laughs> you know, 30 seconds pretty small, man. Come on. All right. We'll try flow to help drill these holes get those holes drilled to the exactly right size only and uh, yeah then uh, we're ready to install those sex bolts slip the two sex bolts in then I'm gonna get my screws started and I'm gonna tighten those all the way and then once those are tightened all the way I'll finish tightening the bot tightening the bottom two screws on the back cover plate because now those those can be tightened right there yep tighten those up if you tighten those early on it kind of was gonna just mess you up on slipping that thing over so let's pop it on make sure it's all good hey it looks like a key removable mullion the door closes that door closes hey we're looking good that's it well thanks for watching with me if you got any tips or tricks or questions let me know love to hear from you thank you We'll catch you next time.